Hello there, only one Kenobi here again. I uh, just done my previous video, I did a reaction to the trailer for the new Han Solo movie, and I didn't do it. I've, you, you're probably wondering why these gaps are on the wall here. That's because I took all the Solo, Han Solo car backs off the wall, and I was going to show you them as part of, of the same video, but I didn't do it. So I was going to tack it on that video, but I thought, you know, forget it. Why don't I just do a brand new video? And so I thought I would just look at this figure of Han here, speaking of like I always do, Black Series figures that could be repacked in the Vintage Collection. This was the only super articulated hand in 3.75 that we got. And it's decent. It's just crazy that he didn't appear... Sorry if it's a bit blurred. Let's see if we can change that. No, it's not going to change. Um, it's just crazy that he only appeared looking like this for a shorter amount of time than any other outfit in the movie The Force Awakens. But... I think it would be definitely worth putting on a vintage card back. I'd love to see it. I'm sure there's a few good shots of him on Starkiller Base with the coat looking out to the sky or whatever he was. I can't remember just before the people are counting on us like I did in that last video. That's not how the force works. I love that. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> I love it. It's just brilliant. You know, Force Awakens was funny, if, if nothing else. A lot of people give that movie stick, you know, but I, I loved The Force Awakens, I loved it. It was just funny. Anyway, so there is a good, th well I say a good figure, it's not the greatest figure in the world, but it's a good potential to be on a vintage car back. Speaking of vintage car backs and how many hands we've got, Han is the hot topic at the minute. Well, there's not that many cards really. I've got these to show you, including this VOTC Han from 2004. Amazing figure. If you don't own that, you need it loose and carded. Loose. <sighs> Amazing. Brilliant head sculpt. Brilliant figure. Then we've got this one. New figure I got recently. Check my channel out. I did a video of all the foil silver variants, including this one, which is a new addition to accompany this guy here, which is the standard VC03. I don't have this figure loose. From all accounts, it's not that great, the figure. It doesn't really look like him. But it's all about the card back. When you're a carded collector, we don't really want it open. We just want to keep it like that. But anyway, lovely card back um, of Han Solo Echo Base outfit. Released in 2010. This is not an 80s figure or card back by any means. It's a, it's a modern vintage figure. Speaking of a classic that came back, this is a classic card back from the 80s that made a return in the last vintage collection. Han Solo Bespin. Fatigues, not fatigues, best been outfit. Um, I don't have that one, Lucy, either. I wouldn't mind, though. Let's have a look at the head sculpt. Not that bad. Not a patch on this, though. That's a great head sculpt of Han Solo. Probably can't tell, but it is. It's good. It's a good one. Good mould. And then I'm going to now confess that I am a liar. I told you on a video not long ago that I have every carded figure between VC01 and VC115. But I told you a, a lie. I don't. I don't have the hand trench coat in that. I've got I've got this hand trench coat, which is the Vintage Saga collection of 2006. Or the VO, I thought it was the VOTC. I get muddled up. Similar. Similar bubbles. Similar fonts. But yeah, I have that. And I didn't bother getting the... Because he's quite expensive, the Vintage Collection one. I don't know what VC number he is, but I didn't bother getting him. So I just settled with this one here. So I, I lied to you. I don't have all the vintage collection behind me. I don't have that Han. But anyway, this will do. That does the job. It's a lovely car back of Han in the trench coat there. And that is all. There's no more to show you. So there's other potentials. There's the Carbonite Han that I told talk, talked about in a previous video. And then, of course, the obvious choice would be Starkiller Base Han. And then any other ones they want to release. I say bring it on. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.